Einstein was the master of what we usually call the thought experiment. He didn't go out into the world and actually do experiments where he would measure things and try to determine how a given experiment would turn out. Instead, he would sit more or less at a desk or work at a blackboard and through the power of thought, recognize that there were certain puzzles that needed to be resolved. And the one that really was vital to his understanding of special relativity is this. He recognized that previous work that came to him from the late 1800s, works of someone named James Clark Maxwell, that work showed that the speed of light seemed to be constant, that it seemed to be unalterable. Now, many people struggle with that. How could the speed of something be unalterable? I mean, you take a baseball, you can change its speed. You throw it fast, you throw it slow, it can go at different rates. Why would light have a fixed speed? Einstein took that little puzzle very seriously and realized, well, if speed is a measure of how far something goes, space it covers, divided by how long it takes to get there, a duration of time, he realized that if speed was constant for light, then space and time had to adjust themselves in order that speed stayed fixed. Space and time had to behave in a way that was unfamiliar. And when he thought that through in detail, he realized that space can shrink and time can dilate depending upon how you are moving. And that's how he came to these rather shocking realizations about space and time.